Okay, just to recap, tangent normal corner system. So this particle is traveling along this curved path with a velocity, okay, and the velocity can change. The magnitude of velocity can change any instant in time, okay, but the velocity is always tangent to the path, okay, and it's expressed by v, the magnitude of velocity, and that's the unit vector, ut direction. An acceleration of that particle has two components. DVDT, okay, which is the magnitude okay, of the acceleration in tangential direction. Okay, so, this much right here. So, this is my AT component. Okay, this is my AT component. And then, I also have the normal component, which is something unique about this coordinate system. Okay? You always, always have a normal component of acceleration as long as the particle is traveling along a curved path. So this is AN. So, looking at this, Acceleration has two components, okay, AT tangent and AN for normal. Therefore, the magnitude of acceleration A is simply AT squared plus AN squared. Okay. So, one thing to uh, note about this coordinate system is that it's most useful when it involves radius of curvature. Okay? Now radius curvature is different okay, at different location of the path. Okay? And for example, okay, at this location right here, okay, now if the curvature is, is um, more severe this means that the imaginary circle okay, where at this point they share the same tangent and this is my radius of curvature at this point. At let's say a more flatter part of the curve, let's say this point right here, okay, when you try to fit an imaginary circle that is tangent to this point right here, the radius curvature then will be quite long. Okay, because you need to measure from this point to the center of this imaginary circle. So the radius curvature would be different, okay, and some could be above and some could be below this curve, okay, depending on the curvature. Okay, which is concave or convex or convex.